Miami FC playing the number nine today rather than the number 10. So here we go. Another good crowd in Hartford benefiting a special cause. Town boy shine. That's referring to Jimmy Slayton starting in goal for them from Hartford. Solidified the defense and limit turnovers. We talked about that for Charleston. Hartford on the attack here. Left-footed effort on goal. And there's Daniel Kuzemka with the first save of the match. Which now Juan Carlos Obregon looking to dink one over the top. Into the run of Ariel Martinez who puts the home side ahead. Ariel Martinez is absolutely brilliant. Soccer IQ is absolutely through the roof. That's his sixth goal as of late. He is, and we just talked about it a few minutes ago, he is absolutely on a tear. Obregon over the top. He's looking for Martinez. Most players would look to slow down and play their ball off the chest right here. He doesn't do that. And Martinez is not tall. He waits on it, knows that he can give it to himself off the head. He right on the money. That's exactly what Hartford needs to do. And stepping in front of passes like that are going to help them as well. Danny Barrera, Barrera picking that ball off. Prince Sadie now cutting his way to the end line, squaring it across. It's two. What a start this is for Hartford. That's Andre Lewis. And it's a dream opening 13 minutes for Hartford Athletic. They're two goals up. Look at this to the outside. You talked about Sadie. The little turnover, he buys enough time to get that pass into the middle. And Lewis just puts it in the back of the net. Lewis and Barrera were two guys that Ramos really wanted to see production out of. And he is seeing it already. Lewis getting that goal. You know, you, you know that you've got a lot of leaks in your defense. Sending Harmon's cross, a good one, and sent right at the keeper. And there's the first save of the match for Jimmy Slayton. Here they come on another one of those dangerous looking counters. Martinez, great command. And then he finds Andre Lewis. And Lewis looking to scoop it back to Martinez. Left footed effort just over the bar. What interchange for Hartford. Another great attack. And the buildup is fantastic. They get it into the middle. Martinez is, is amazing that he even gets that shot off around Archer because Archer is right in front of him. Still gets it off. I think if Archer was a half a foot behind where he was, it's it's a 3-0 game. And as you said earlier, Donnie, well-liked, a leader on the pitch, and off as well. Padaka now. Harmon. Chance for Charleston. Harmon drives. And Slayton is behind it. I love this shot by Harmon. As Charleston would like. All kinds of space on that left now for Joel Johnson. What can Johnson fashion here? Johnson able to beat one man. Johnson's ball back post. Followed in front. It's three. It's Juan Carlos Obregon capping off a sensational first half performance for himself personally and for Hartford collectively. They are 3 0 up going into the break. Just at the end, the stoppage. Great individual effort to get this pass off, high in the air, and then that pass inside. And the attack now coming from the left, it doesn't matter where Hartford is bringing the ball up, but Joel Johnson with an absolutely outstanding individual effort, and that ball sent back into the middle. That's the way you want to play it. Great situation for these two teams, and we're going to see a, a substitution um, on the Charleston side of things. Yeah, that is Preston Kilwine, who is. Those substitutions are presented by 4G Recycling. And that's a great ball right down the middle. And right away, an opportunity for four. And a save made by Kuzemka as he denies Andre Lewis a second goal of the night and a fourth for Hartford. Just straight down the middle. And Andre Lewis was away. And what's interesting about this this shot selection by Lewis is I think he takes it. And here they come, still time to get themselves back in this. It's Augie Williams having a blast, and what a blast. Augie Williams straight off the bench and straight onto the score sheet, and Charleston do have one back early in the second half. It's 3-1. Actually, Connor Casey on the change. Yeah, it was Booth, excuse me. Andrew Booth dribbling up that right side, and what a rip with that right foot. Wow. 
Yeah, you would think that you bring in Augie Williams, it's going to be more offensive minded, and that may be the case. Chance for two. It is two. And Charleston right back in it. Aiden Apodaca this time. What a start to the second half. They were nearly 4 0 down a minute into half number two. Now they're back within a goal. Because this is just a beautiful pass and a beautiful putback. And from every single angle, including this one here, ground level, and that is as pretty as it comes. Plays it off the chest. Rudati right now surveying his options. It's Barrera, and Barrera's cross in, it's 4-2. What a ball, tucked away. Absolutely it's brilliant. A, it's a second of the night for Andre Lewis. Pinos talking about how he wanted more production out of Barrera and Lewis, and why not it, if they connect and get more production together? Barrera, this thing was right on the money, running right onto it. This is, this is a lot more scoring output than we expected. And don't forget, early on. Opportunity here for Charleston. Booth wide. Charleston just doing a great job right now in the second half of controlling the pace of play, staying on top of the ball, giving their defenders an opportunity to, to really catch their breath. Barajas now. His cross, crossed the face of goal and touched in. And now it's 4-3. And Charles Turner are within one with 11 plus minutes to go. Jimmy Slayton won't give the ball back. 15th of the year. And here we go. Yeah, great ball into the middle. And credit Williams just to stay upright, make sure that the ball would land at his feet. That ball getting through, not even sure exactly how it got through three defenders but volley forward onside here here come Hartford inside the box left footed strike straight at the keeper who was able to palm it away enough uh, that's a bad giveaway straight to Augustine Williams Williams goes for goal and it's smothered by a Slayton to keep Hartford in front for now On the right side, this is Budati. Budati is onside. Budati bursting through. Budati goes down. And the referee points to the spot. It's a penalty. Story this would be here at home. And he's going to take a big time run up. Andre Lewis. Hat -trick, Hat trick hero. Back of the net. 5-3 Hartford with just a few minutes left. And even in a game as crazy as this one, that might just be it. We wanted more production out of Lewis, as well as Barrera. And a hat trick out of Lewis, that's production. And that's the back of the net. And that's a 5-3 lead very, very late in this one. Offensively, there will be a few things for Tab Ramos and company to sort out, but you want to primarily entertain the fans, this is how to do it. Here goes Lewis again. Acres of space for Hartford. It's Lewis, it's Martinez, and Martinez makes it a half a That's dozen. That's a brace. Ariel Martinez. Maybe a bit shaken up afterward, but he is shaking Charleston tonight. The number nine has become an outstanding number 10. Well, switch that. The number 10 has become an outstanding number nine. And number six. With For this club, out of Lewis, Martinez getting two just incredibly impressive. What is it, eight, eight in his last eight games? It's a lot. And there might be a chance for a fourth here for Charleston. It stings the palms of Slayton who keeps it out. The Ramos revolution resumes. That's three wins out of four under Tab Ramos. As Hartford Athletic defeat Charleston tonight incredibly by six goals to three.